it is Hannah from the Doodle Bug in Jasper, Indiana, and thanks so much for stopping by. Today, what I'm going to be working with is I am going to be using some new stencils from Tailored Expressions. It's their Cloud Stencils. Uh, it's called Set the Scene Clouds. They also have the same concept in Waves called Set the Scene Waves. Uh, both of these are available at the store. Remember, Tailored Expressions, you cannot buy those online through us. Um, independent retailers cannot list them on their, or they cannot sell them on their websites, but we can list them, and then you can call in and place your orders that way. But anyway, today I wanted to create just a cute little sky background with some clouds. I'm going to be turning it into the backdrop for a card using two of their newest sets for Valentine's Day. One, you make my heart sore, and then the you make my heart sore dies. So I'm gonna be using those to create something fun, but before I do that, I need to create a fun little backdrop. So I'm using my amazing life changing brush from Picket Fence. So I'm gonna be using that for um, blending my ink on there. Um, what I'm using is, it's a boy. I kind of went through my colors to decide what kind of blue I wanted for my sky. And I decided to go with something just a little bit softer. And this is kind of how I store, um, they actually go in little page protectors, but this is how I sort and stamp and keep track of what colors I have. And honestly, I will tell you, I have just about every Catherine Pooler ink I think that she has made so far because that one truly is my favorite. So we're gonna be using the Catherine Pooler It's a Boy for our background. So I'm just gonna go into my pad, okay? Hers is a much spongier pad. I'm gonna pick up some color. All right, I like to always give it a little swoosh on my mat just to make sure I've got everything blended on there really nice. And then I'm gonna put my clouds. Let's start in the middle here. Okay, make sure yep, you guys can see that. All right, and then I'm just gonna start to color that on. And look at that, okay? Notice how I'm not getting any circle from say a round type blending foam. This has been a game changer for me. All right, so I've got one layer of clouds there. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Um, let's switch it up a little bit. Let's do some bigger puffy clouds, kind of right in here. And again, it just, it blends on so smoothly. And now watch, isn't that awesome? i take that one up here as well, I think. Move it over, eh, just, eh, let's do this. Aha, even better yet. Pick up some more ink. Isn't that awesome? All right, and then let's do one more of the smaller down here. And then I think we'll, we'll be good. And then what's nice is as you layer Places that were darker are gonna get a little darker. Places that were lighter. Get a little darker yet, and then let's just finish this out. Uh-oh, here comes a cat. Because she knows I'm preoccupied. So this is the perfect moment for her to show herself. Let's see if I can tilt this. Okay, so it's always a mess down here, but let's see. Can you see her? Peanut, can we see you peeking? I think right where she is, my my mount is right there. She's basically right, yep, there she is. That's, that, that's, there's a cat. Nice, huh? Let me make you a little seasick here, take my mount back up, sorry about that. Peanut, you're ruining, you're ruining the video, Peanut. You're ruining it. All right, so back on track. So look at that. 
awesome, don't you think? So what again, what I used, just some ink. You could use any ink. I love the Catherine Pooler just because it blends so nice. Um, and then this kind of shows you a little bit of how great these Picket Fence Life Changing Brushes are are going to work for you. Okay. All right, everybody. I am Hannah at the Doodle Bug in Jasper, Indiana. Thank you so much for watching my quick little video on using a background stencil to create some awesome effects there. Quick little card background. And I mean, what was that like 45 seconds? It didn't take very long at all. Super neat results. And again, remember they've also got this in waves as well too so some really fun summer cards and i'm sure you could figure out how to turn it into grass anything like that this for sure could be little mounds of dirt so if you were doing maybe a spring card and you had some really cute let's say like bunny bunny stamps and carrots i know lawn fawn has some great um sets for that but then you could also do like spring flowers this would be really fun for that kind of background as well all right everybody until next time again i'm hannah the doodlebug www.thedoodlebuginc.com hope i inspired you a little bit to get your inks out and just play and if you loved this method because again this is how i pick my colors too that way um, i know you can swatch them on like a full-size sheet of paper but then i can't tell how these two will look together so I like to do them a little two by twos so if you like this um, maybe I will do a little video and show you how I sort and store my inks okay all right everybody thanks so much have a great day